along with us. And uh, we hope this is our second try with our new camera. Hopefully it's working well. And uh, then we'll have confidence in it. Yeah. Hope you've had a good week. We've had a good week. Busy. It's been crazy busy this week. And, uh, but, you know, God is in all of it. So yeah, it's all in all of it. So uh, glad to have you here. Uh, we're going to start. And I was uh, telling our folks gathered here today, I, I, I use very little creativity and uh, uh, lack of gumption. I'm using the same song <laughs> sheet that we had on Sunday. And uh, very grateful for Miss Diana playing for us on Sunday yes. while Glenn and Debbie were away uh, with her mom. Yes. All right, so we're going to sing Amazing Grace. Yes. All right? <laughs> Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, but now I see. T'was grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. That grace appear the hour I first believe when we been there ten thousand years, bright shining as the sun we know. sing God's praise that when we first begun. Amen. Amen. Good, good singing. Yes. Thank you for doing that. Yes. Deb, can you do me a favor and go into my office and bring my Bible because I should have my Bible with me. Yes. <laughs> when I just terrible thing to be without. Yeah. Um, yeah. So for announcements, we'd like to kind of go over the newsletter pretty quick. Um, Facebook check-ins continue on H2 Open Doors uh, through the end of uh, July, mm -hmm. and uh, all the check-ins will, will help with that. And uh, life groups are coming along. Uh, men's group Sunday morning, uh, women's group on Tuesday, uh, children's play group, Miss Robin is in charge of that, and I forget what day that is. Uh, Tuesdays as well and uh, just been in contact with a couple young men that are helping me we're going to start another men's group on Sunday awesome. night at 7 o'clock uh, we're going to use the uh, the portable building uh, and we've, I just ordered the books today we're going to be looking into 1st and 2nd Peter uh, as our initial study so 7 o'clock on Sunday nights men we hope you can uh, you can join us Missionaries for, uh, for the week are Seth and Joanna Iser, uh, missionaries to the United Kingdom and uh, helping at Oxford Baptist Chapel. And uh, their, their sponsoring church is here in Waynesboro, Pennsylvania. All right, so that's kind of all the announcements. Uh, hope you're having a great week and we'll look forward to seeing you guys on Sunday. We're continuing to look into the book of Acts chapter 21, closing out chapter 21. And uh, we see Paul getting into some trouble with some of the religious authorities there uh, in Jerusalem. And I don't think it was a surprise to him. You know, he's prophesied that he would, uh, you know, uh, by many, that he, you go to Jerusalem, you're going to be in trouble. And so he went to Jerusalem and he got in trouble. And this was God's plan and it's God's way of working through his life. So we'll look into that a little bit more on Sunday. Our devotion... Today comes from, it's one of my um, daily readings. I'm, I'm reading, I'm through, a, a going a through the Bible plan that I'm, it's a devotional that I'm reading. Yeah. And this was a through the Bible in one, actually would, if you did this whole program, you would go through the New Testament twice and the Old Testament once in a year. 
and I've been doing it for almost two years now. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm a little bit behind. But one of uh, our readings recently has been in Ecclesiastes. So we're going to be in the book of Ecclesiastes, uh, chapter 12 tonight. So um, I really enjoy the book of Ecclesiastes. It was written by Solomon. Mm -hmm. And um, what, is, what, do you, what do you hear about Solomon? What, what's your... Why, yes. There you go. He's the wisest man ever. Exactly right. <laughs> exactly right. And... and uh, wasn't necessarily the smartest man ever because he made some decisions yeah. that weren't uh, uh, weren't to his health, uh, uh, or but he was the wisest man. He asked for wisdom. Was David's son, yes. uh, and so if you read the book of Ecclesiastes, um, there's a lot in there, and 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 if if all you had in the Bible to read was Ecclesiastes, it'd be almost depressing. Because yeah. you know it's you know he's what is he saying? He said I'm dissatisfied. Yeah. I'm I'm I, I've looked around and I've realized mm -hmm. that everything is empty. Yeah. You know there's a lot of emptiness, and and I found that uh, wealth is empty. Mm -hmm. I found that work is empty. I found that knowledge is empty. Uh, he even says I found that wisdom is empty. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, so uh, you know his it's it's really a a uh, if you hadn't, if you didn't read chapter twelve, you'd re you'd really think, well, this guy's really lost it. You know, he's yeah. he's uh, yeah. he's he's come to the conclusion that life is meaningless. Yes. And uh, so, in chapter twelve, I think as I've been thinking about this today, it's it's kind of like um, his his realization that emptiness of life occurs when we don't have a relationship with the yeah. Creator. Right, so uh, there's a lot of people in our world today who are walking around uh, in a lot of emptiness, and we've seen that. I think everybody has a God-sized hole in their heart, you know, uh, uh, that needs to be filled by Jesus. And uh, we try to fill it with other things, and it just doesn't work, right? And uh, so I think that's really kind of what Solomon was saying. Uh, of course, one of uh, from the '60s, one of the songs that. Uh, uh, we sang was uh, everything has a season, right? Mm -hmm. in, in Ecclesiastes 3, to everything Solomon writes, there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, a time to gather, stone, gather stones, a time to embrace, a time to refrain from embracing, a time to gain and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to, to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. And uh, I think... That's true. I think, really do believe that's true, but I think it kind of it kind of falls into his his premise that you know life is lived and there's really no meaning, right? It goes on and on and on. Yeah. You know, people live, people die, people uh, make decisions. You know, they they're going to and fro. It's kind of like the song Debbie and I used to sing. People need the Lord. You know, people are always going around rushing mm -hmm. in a hurry, but not going anywhere. You know, lots of yeah. lots of uh, those kinds of kind of things, but and uh, and Ecclesiastes chapter twelve is kind of like here he is distilling these thoughts. Uh, he writes, uh, I'm going to read it from this because this is the NIV, and uh, so he says, "Remember your Creator in the days of your youth, before the days of troubles of trouble come and the years approach, when you will say." I find no pleasure in them. Before the sun and the light and the moon and the stars grow dark and the clouds return after rain, when the keepers of the house tremble and the strong men stoop, when the grinders cease because they are few and those looking through the windows grow dim, when the doors to the street are closed and the sound of grinding fades, when people rise up at the sound of birds, but all their songs grow faint. 
when people are afraid of heights and of dangers in the streets, when the almond tree blossoms and the grasshopper drags itself along and desire no longer is stirred, then people go to, the, to their eternal home and mourners go about the streets. Remember him before the silver cord is severed and the golden bowl is broken before the pitcher is shattered at the spring and the wheel broken at the well and dust returns to the ground it came from and the spirit returned to God who gave it. Meaningless, meaningless, says the teacher. Everything is meaningless. Not only was the teacher wise, but he also imparted knowledge to the people. <clears throat> he pondered and searched out and set in order many proverbs the teacher searched to find just the right words, and, he, and what he wrote was upright and true. <clears throat> the words of the wise are like goads. They're collected sayings like firmly embedded nails given by one shepherd. Be warned, my son, of anything in addition to them. Of making, of making many books, there is no end, and much study wearies the body. Now all has been heard. Here is the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the duty of all mankind. For God will bring every deed into judgment, including every hidden thing, whether it is good or evil. So that's a, uh, just a very, I think, a powerful chapter and I think insightful chapter. Um, now, a lot of those things, it's hard to really figure out what he's talking about. Uh, I have read some commentators, uh, uh, there's Miss Starr, uh, who suggests that Solomon is describing in this first part the process of aging. What happens when you get old, right? Uh, the, the sun and light and the moon and the stars grow dark, you know, have a have a tendency to lose uh, eyesight and have cataracts and uh, all those kind of things. The keepers of the house tremble and strong men stoop. Uh, you know, we have a tendency to get shorter uh, as we get older, <laughs> yeah. you know, and, 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 you know, sometimes gravity takes over and we kind of bend a little bit and uh, I keep telling myself to sit up straight. And, um, the grinders cease because they are few. I talk about your teeth. Right? Is to, and what happens when you get older? Your, your teeth start falling out, right? Yeah. They start cracking. Went to the dentist the other day and she says, well, you have a crack around this tooth and a crack around this tooth and I need you to wear a mouthpiece at night so you don't... Um, yeah, wow, okay. I haven't got it yet. Well, I have it, but I haven't put it on yet. So, um, People rise up at the sound of... You ever notice uh, when... A lot of times older people get up earlier. Than, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I know the world is broken down into morning people and non-morning yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. So my wife is not a morning person, if you are if you just yeah, really want to know. Not, I'm, I'm a morning person. Too. Yeah, I'm a morning, I'm a morning person. person. What about you, Dave? What about you, Dave? I'm not a morning person. You're not a morning person. <laughs> <laughs> you knew I liked it. You knew yeah. I liked it. <laughs> All right, so, uh, but... You know, as you get older, you should get up earlier, and uh, uh, according to Solomon, and, and I think it's generally true, um, their songs grow faint, which is you kind of start losing hearing. your hearing, right? We, we have an appointment <laughs> here coming up in a couple of weeks to see the audiologist because <laughs> we might need uh, hearing aids. Hmm. People are afraid of heights and of dangers in the streets. You know, uh, just... Fear is sometimes irrational, sometimes rational. And the people go to their eternal home and mourners go about in the street. So, you know, people die. Remember him, he says, before the silver cord is severed. I'm not, I haven't really th thought about what that might mean. The golden bowl is broken. The pitcher is shattered at the spring and the wheel broken at the well. Uh, you know, there are some things uh, you don't come back from, you know, and, and uh, um, we, we're... We'd like to hold on to our health, and thankfully, technology these days yeah. helps us with those yes. things better than I think life expectancy is uh, pretty well compared to what it was uh, in the days of Solomon. Yeah. And uh, the the dust returns to the ground from uh, it came from. But 
God said to Adam, dust thou art, and unto mm-hmm. dust shalt thou return. Mm-hmm. At least that's the way it says in the King James. Uh, so, uh, meaningless. You know, uh, old people die, uh, uh, young people die sometimes, yeah. rich people die, poor people die. Yeah. Uh, and if you read the Ecclesiastes, he says sometimes, uh, you know, bad people get good stuff. And sometimes good people get bad results, you know, and, and life is like that. And sometimes it seems like there's no meaning to it all. Uh, but yes, there is meaning to life. And yes, God is in control. And yes, he does care about you. And uh, so uh, remember your creator then, he says, when you're young. Uh, I think it's, it's a wonderful thing for young people to, to come to know Jesus. Now, there's always opportunity, right? There's always... We, you know, Paul would say, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. Yeah. And uh, so we, you know, I've heard of people being saved when they're 80 some years old. Yeah, it can happen. It can happen. It can. But generally, yeah. it's younger. Yeah. Now, I was, yeah. I was 16 yes. when I was saved. Uh, Debbie, how old were you when you got saved? Nine. You were nine. Yeah. Dave was, all right, he was four. Yeah, Very four. young. Right. You were 24. See, yeah. so we had kind of the kind yeah. of the uh, a wide gamut. It's so much better than to to make that decision when you're very young, than when you're older. Your heart's more hardened than your exactly. You know, you're you're hard. right. You're const- you're distracted. You're, you're confused. Uh, you're yeah. you're you unlearn certain things. Yes. Unlearn. That's right. Yeah. Yep. And you, uh, it's much easier to memorize. Scripture when you're younger, it's much easier you know, <laughs> right? to learn yeah. certain ways of coping when you're younger, you know, rather than having to unlearn ways of coping that don't yeah. work. Amen. You know, uh, <clears throat> I didn't have to be convinced to believe it. What's yeah, that? I didn't have to be oh. convinced. Yeah, I didn't either. Believe it either. Either. Oh, I didn't either. I, didn't either. I, didn't I was either. just like, yeah, in and believe I'm ready. It. Yeah, you amen. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I will say that I had no background. I had no I had no uh, church background at all. I, mm-hmm. I had I had I had nothing, you know. Yeah. And and yeah. so when I found out, <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 this these these people, as I've said before, they have something that I don't know anything about, yeah. and they have a peace, and they have a grace, and they have a a love, and mm-hmm. uh, and uh, just a genuine love for one another and for God. And said, like I said, that I I want that. I want that in my life. So, uh, I, you know, I, I didn't have to be convinced. I was yeah. happy to receive it. it does, doesn't Jesus encourage someone to receive, to receive mm-hmm. him like that? Just like oh, a child, yeah. right? Just hand him. Like a child. Him. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. That's exactly right. Mm-hmm. We come to him. Absolutely. That's good. So, uh, you, uh, you know, so, so take advantage. That's why I love Awana. That's why I love Sunday school. Mm-hmm. Why I love... Uh, Bible school and children's ministry because we're planting those seeds. Mm-hmm. We're we're you know we're uh, hoping that uh, the gospel will take fruit and, and bear fruit while that person is young. Um, now it doesn't mean that, that we're not going to make mistakes, right? It doesn't mean yeah. that we're not going to sin or even walk away in mm-hmm. some ways. But you know, uh, my firm belief is once you're saved, you're always saved. Yeah, and, 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 yeah. But you'll you'll come back to you know yeah. you'll you'll find your way back. And, yeah. and so uh, I like this. Uh, you know I love the couple of things that he says. Uh, uh, you know be 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 warned, my son, of of, of, of adding anything uh, to uh, these words of the wise. And then uh, I always appreciated this uh, uh, little uh, uh, tidbit of wisdom of making up books. There is no end. And much study wearies the body. Uh, the King yeah. James version of that is much study is weariness to the flesh. And isn't that true? Many it times is. I've gone face down in my, in, you know, uh, I, yeah. sometimes it's really tiring to study. Yes. Um, so well, there's another side to that too because, you know, I, I believe in that time people believed that the acquisition of knowledge could lead to some sort of nirvana or Right yeah. to you know, revelation, that's true today, mm-hmm. and, uh, and yet that is futility, and yes. you know, it's such part of what he's talking about there. Yeah, yeah. I think um, that uh, you know he knows this. He's he's got this tremendous wisdom, but he what has been kept hidden from him is the plan of Jesus coming. So he didn't see that part. 
No, no. That's so, right. you know, at all the end, all he can conclude is, which he didn't do, by the way, is that he should honor the Lord and, you know, there are ways in which he did not obey the Lord. Oh, oh yeah, that's you true. Know, and, and yet, all he says is, you know, uh, at, the, at the conclusion of the matter, uh, fear God and keep his commandments. This is the whole duty of man. Mm -hmm. So it's just, as wise as he was, he knew what he should do, but he didn't do it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Fully. Yep. And, uh, you know, without the grace of Jesus there, go I. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we need a Savior. And that's, Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So that's, and really, that's what we get out of the whole wisdom, deal, right? Wisdom, right? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And uh, so fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the duty of all mankind. For God will bring every deed into judgment, including every hidden thing, whether it is good or evil. So, uh, you know, he understood God's judgment, right? And he, and he understood the commandments part, but he probably didn't get the grace piece. Uh, you know, yeah. the... Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, Paul said that, you know, this, the mystery of Christ was just hidden for ages. And, you know, that, um, you know, the ancients longed, to, like the, the prophets of old longed to see. Right. To know what the plan was. Right. And then they only got... Distant glimpses, but they never got the whole mm -hmm. mystery where, you know, from before the creation of the world, God knew what he was going to do. He knew he was going to prove to us uh, our value and his love for us. Amen. Mm -hmm. by, Amen. By, you know, sending Christ while we were still sinners. So, Amen. You know, this yeah. is just, it's, so, it's just a profoundness. That's yes. why the cross is... Uh, you know, everything is just you know, too few. But. No, no, I'm yeah. good. You're, you're preaching no, no, not to I me, know. but also yeah, I know. the but folks yeah. that are here. That's good stuff. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And, and we need to be reminded of that. And, and yeah. I, I love that. And I think that's uh, why even, you know, when we're talking about a Sunday school, we're in Matthew and Sunday school, and, and why mm -hmm. Jesus had to keep talking to them about really what Messiah was. Yeah. It's not, it's, uh, yes, the Messiah is conquering king, but he's first... Uh, sacrifice and Savior and yes. the Lamb of God that takes away yes. the sins of the world and all of those things. And yes, he's coming back as conquering king. And you know, I, I kept, every time Rob teaches that, teaches Sunday school class, I think about Luke 24, where Jesus is explaining to those uh, uh, two guys, the Cleophas and the other person on that road, the Emmaus road. And he took all that time to, to explain to him those Old Testament scriptures Mm -hmm. that, that yeah. say that Messiah must uh, uh, suffer and die yeah. for the sins of the world. And really, a lot of uh, the book of Acts and, and the New Testament is, is talking about reconciling those ideas mm -hmm. of, uh, of Messiah as conquering king and Messiah mm -hmm. as Lamb of God, the, you know, the sacrifice. Yes. And, and so mm -hmm. uh, it's, mm -hmm. it's pretty neat the way, the way those things come together. Uh, I love those passages of scripture that boil things down, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So fear God and keep his commandments. Yes. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, I was thinking of Matthew 6. Seek ye first the kingdom of God yeah. and his righteousness and all of these things will be added to you. Yeah. Simple. simple. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, what is it? There's a passage in Micah, and I, should never, I shouldn't bring this up because I didn't look it up first. But it talks <laughs> about... Um, what does the Lord require of you but to love justice and, do, and to do justly and to walk humbly before your God? Yeah. And uh, that's, it's a simple thing. Simple. And uh, I like that. I like that. Anyway, that's, that's the short devotion yeah, for tonight. Any, awesome. any other any great comments, by the way? And I'm so glad that people can hear what's going on in the back there. I, want, I wanted to emphasize what you said right in the beginning about how you said there's so many people that's walking around that are lost. And, and mm -hmm. it's just vanity of vanity. And there right. always, there, there's so many seeking people. And what you said in the beginning, there's always a hole that's a God hole. Them. Mm -hmm. and, and they need to know that. Amen. That should, we need to encourage each other, of course, but there's so many mm -hmm. lost people there that need to know that God loves it. We, I mean, we just Amen. have so much work to do. Right, amen, right? that's right. I mean, so and that's evangelism, work. right? That's right. what evangelism is. Mean, there's just no other, yeah. So yeah. that was a good reminder to me when you said that right in the beginning. Yeah. I have to keep doing that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm good, but I'm not good. People need to hear about it, right? Right, yeah. right. 
And there are, there are people who are going down destructive paths trying to fill that hole. Yeah. And, and, uh, and it's a very sad thing. It and uh, uh, and yet we hear, we hold up and say, look, I, I have hope and you can yeah. have hope yeah, too. You can yeah. have, you can have what I have. I didn't mm-hmm. earn this. Yeah. Jesus gave it to me. Yeah. And, and he wants to give that yes. to you as well. So, we you know, need, we need to say that. stop digging. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and, 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 and because he's there to, to mm-hmm. throw out the lifeline across the dark way. Yeah. So that's that's good stuff. That's good Thank stuff. You. Man, whew. you guys always make me glad I come to church. Yeah, so you thanks for being here. All right, so we do have several requests for prayer uh, that we have uh, sent out this week on the prayer line. And uh, I didn't uh, send out a reminder email. Uh, we want to remind you, too, that next Wednesday, won't be here next Wednesday, okay. Debbie and I are going to South Carolina to hopefully take care of my dad's property and mm-hmm. for the last yeah. time. And so mm-hmm. we won't be here, but then, then we're done traveling on Wednesday, so we'll get back. All right, so on the top of the list is Brother Dave Vario. <laughs> and uh, those of you who have received emails know that uh, he had a stress test uh, this week, and he they found out an issue with blood flow to uh, the lower part of his heart. So we're just praying that God will restore that. You know, and God, okay. and Dave and I yeah. prayed the other day. We yeah. prayed that God would heal him without yeah. any further intervention. And I believe God can yeah, for his can. glory. And uh, now whether he will, that's up to his will. Yeah. And uh, we're praying for God, uh, God's blessings, Brother Dave, on you. Uh, Brother Roy Champion, uh, we talked about Roy. Uh, I said in the email, he remains in the hospital. I called him today. He's at home. So we're very thankful to say that Brother Roy Champion is at home. Uh, he's doing better. So uh, just he's thankful for your prayers. And he said to tell everybody that he loves them. Jenny Freeburn, who most of you don't know here, uh, she was uh, a member here. Uh, she asked us to pray for her friend, Arthur. Uh, and uh, I was trying to recall what surgery he had and my brain just left the building. Uh, but uh, he came through the surgery in good order, so they're praying for his recovery. Uh, you know, uh, Debbie Robinson's mother mm-hmm. has been in the hospital. She's at home. She's with Debbie and Glenn at home now. She had a surgery to uh, repair that aortic aneurysm. Uh, and she'll be staying with Glenn and Debbie for some time. So just continue to pray for her healing. Pray for Glenn and Debbie as they as they care for her. Uh, Diana Krupp uh, had an appointment on Monday yeah, with uh, yeah. that physician, uh, University of Maryland. So it didn't resolve the way Diana wanted it to resolve. I would say that's just <laughs> easily to say. Um, but he didn't say no to her. Yeah. He said, I want you to see a pain management specialist. She's seen pain management specialists before, but this is somebody that uh, this guy has confidence in. And so they're, they're going through the evaluation recommendation prog- uh, process. So pray for Diana, yeah. for her immediate pain problem. Mm-hmm. You know, if you saw her Sunday, she was in a lot of pain. She was, it was hard for her to get in and out of the building. And really she came because we needed her to play yeah. Diana. So uh, very thankful for her. Um, Sonny Combs' his mother had CT scan. I don't know how that turned out. And, um, I don't know. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll check with Sonny. Diana's seeing pain management on Wednesday. She's going to see the pain management mm-hmm. a week yeah. from today. She said seeing them on Wednesday. All right, good. So keep her in your prayers. And the doctor did say to her that this, that this is uh, weeks, not months. This okay, so it's, the process is going to be weeks. Right. Not, okay, not so he, that's good. Yeah. So you give her hope there. This, is, this doctor did her original surgery. Okay, okay. All right, um, Sharon Stewart. Uh, if you guys know Miss Sharon, she deals uh, with a lot of medical issues and also recently had pulled neck muscles and other health issues. Betty Bishop is at home with Rob and, and Wendy. Um, I got a text from Wendy that said, uh, Betty, she knows who people are now, which is good. Yeah. I don't think she's able to express that. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, just pray for her, for her healing and, and for grace for, for that family. 
Uh, Miss Helen Liller, we talked to her today. Um, she still needs your prayers, and uh, she'll be going to see her doctor next week, maybe. I may have forgotten what she yeah. said. Yeah. So pray for it's her. It's coming up. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming up. But she seemed, you know, a little better. Nora Wright, still in Walkersville Nursing Center. I had a, a schedule to see her tomorrow. I got called from the nursing home today and said, okay, we have to postpone you for two weeks. Mm -hmm. So I'm not uh, uh, going to see her tomorrow. Uh, pray for Liberty Baptist in Rouserville, uh, currently involved in a building project. Macedonian builders uh, are there, a group from Florida, and several of our folks have gone uh, to help them. I was up there yesterday, uh, yesterday and I hope to go back tomorrow and, and help a little bit. You know, me helping on a building project is, <laughs> you know, I hope to encourage people, but yeah, I'm not yeah. much of a builder. <laughs> Uh, but it's good to uh, enjoy the fellowship. Uh, Robin Murphy asked prayers for Alexa, who was driving to Minnesota with her Maybe. fiance, Maybe. and they made it there. Wow. And I don't know yes. when they're coming back, but uh, yeah, it was a long drive. Pray for them, and and also Stephanie was uh, was going on a travel too, but she made it fine. So we're mm -hmm. thankful for that. And Stephanie started a new job. And Stephanie started. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. She's not an FMH anymore. She's not an FMH anymore. Mm -hmm. She's, I think she's down at Carroll, but I'm not 100% sure. She's still in hospital. Okay, okay. I think she moved to... Um, she's right Most nurses I know yeah. uh, change jobs from time to <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah. All right, so that's all I had on my list. Other requests? The only one I think on here is from Denise, and she said, remember her, step her stepdad, Doug? He started his second round of chemo this week. And we'll go back and look, but I think that's the only one that was. Okay. Stephanie, you got just, any? Just continue prayers for Madonna Olivia. Just that God wakes her up. I mean, she knows the Lord, but she's just mm -hmm. wants to kind of go down that path a little bit. Understood. Okay. Um, nothing more right now. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Deb? I, I would just say the temperament of people as we head back to school. Oh, yeah. You know, it's, we're back to, we're going to have to wear masks. Mm -hmm. Or wear all, all the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They made the announcement today. And uh, besides her, everybody, everybody's in their house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess I don't listen to the news at all. No, I well, I didn't because it came from. Teresa Alden met okay. with the uh, health officials. Oh, that's terrible. And so it's, we have to, because of the rising numbers, we have to be in a mask. Yes, so, so you know, for temperaments, for people that are, <laughs> they'll really be up in arms about that. Yeah, my son's not going to listen to that. He's going to be in class with him. I mean, they'll, they'll make him go home. Yeah, oh, they will. Yeah, they'll make him go home. He has, he'll have to wear it. Okay. They, there won't be any, at least first term, okay. at least when we get there. Okay. All right, well, thanks for giving me a heads up on that. Okay. <laughs> the, okay. the only freedom is going to be when all the students leave the building, yeah. the teachers who are vaccinated can take their mask uh, off. Yeah. <laughs> but, and they were going to have to wear it on buses anyway. That was still going to be formulated. So, made definite. So, it... Will change it, you think? Not before school starts. Okay, but like you think. Hopefully. Going, hopefully, yeah. if if numbers prove to improve, then they'll probably relax it. But they, you know, you have to stop and remember the sizes of classrooms. If we have a, a classroom at CTC that's got to house twenty two kids, and we can't put them three feet apart, much less six. Yeah. There's yeah. no way. So you have to have them just as safe as they can be okay. in order to have them there in person. So they're going to have okay. to gotcha. the mask. All right. Well, uh, there's no other prayer requests. Let's, uh, let's see. I talked to uh, Jerome today, and oh, yeah. he called, and he, uh, Jerome helped me with a little thing yesterday. So uh, I believe Jerome is going to have... Uh, 
some he's got something, he's got something going on with his kidneys, yeah. maybe a cyst on his kidneys. So they're, they're watching. For so, him. so they're watching. So pray for Jerome and Doris, and, and we're thankful for them. All right, let's uh, let's pray. Father, we, we're so grateful for for the power of prayer, the opportunity of prayer, uh, the privilege of praying, Lord, to come before you. Uh, Father, we don't take that lightly to, to come before your throne, the creator of the universe, the almighty God, the high and holy one, high and lifted up. Father, we, we tremble in your presence and yet you, you call us and we, you invite us to come boldly uh, that we can cry, Abba, Father, because, uh, because you love us and because you gave Jesus to be our savior and because of him, uh, we can come to your throne of grace and we thank you for that privilege. Father, we thank you for loving us. We thank you uh, that you gave your son to die for us. We thank you for the fellowship of brothers and sisters in Christ. Mm -hmm. I thank you for our church family, Lord, mm -hmm. uh, whom we love. And, and it's always good to gather to worship on, on Sunday mornings. I thank you, Lord, for life groups that are going on here. I'm so excited about that, but Lord, that we can not only uh, worship together, but we can share uh, our stories. We can share our life and our the concerns that we have and, and walk through life together uh, uh, with you as leading us. And we're thankful for that privilege. Thank you, Lord, for each one uh, that is here tonight. Thank, I'm so grateful that we can meet in person. And even though we're few uh, in number, uh, we're mighty in spirit, Lord. We're grateful for that. And thank you for those that are joining us online. We're grateful for that privilege. And uh, Father, we look forward to, to the day when we'll all be together uh, again, uh, uh, we just we, we pray for that. We pray for our nation. Uh, Father, we know there's a lot of uh, unrest. There's a lot of trouble. Uh, and Father, I know that our nation needs you. Uh, our, the people need you. As uh, we talked about tonight, about uh, there's, a, there's a great hole in, in the heart of those who don't know you. And they're trying to fill it with everything else except you. And, and, and yet, Lord, you continue to reach out your hand when I think, Lord, of the people you brought into my life to tell me about Jesus, I'm so thankful for that, uh, you know, uh, that grace. And Father, so help us to speak this truth into the lives of those that we come into contact with, that they do, they also need what we have. And we didn't, we didn't deserve it. We didn't earn it. We just received it. And Father, we pray that, uh, that we could, we could be uh, a good share of that message. Father, I lift up all those who were made for request for prayer tonight, Lord, and lift up each name, each person. Father, uh, I just pray for your grace and, mm -hmm. uh, and healing power to be felt by each one of them according to your will and, mm -hmm. and for your glory. Father, I pray for Brother Dave. Uh, we prayed uh, uh, for his healing, Lord, and we continue to pray for his healing and for, for your grace to be poured out upon him. Father, help him to sense your peace and and Father, we know that that you can just uh, since you are His Creator, you can uh, you can you can make everything right. And I just pray, Lord, you would for for your glory. Uh, and Father, that you give Him wisdom as He negotiates this path. And uh, if Your will is to use the physicians, Father, I pray that uh, they would do the very best uh, things possible. Pray for Roy Champion, Lord. So glad he's at home. Bless him as he recovers. Strengthen him, Lord. Uh, for Arthur as well, Jenny's uh, friend, we're thankful for a good surgery, Lord, and the hands that have worked with him. And we pray, Lord, that he would uh, heal quickly and, and strength would return to his body. Uh, Father, for Debbie's mother, uh, Debbie Robinson's mother, we're thankful uh, that they would, she was able to get the treatment she needed and that she's doing better and she's at home with Debbie. And I pray that you would bless that situation, Lord, and uh, you know the things that they need. You know... Uh, uh, the dynamic there, Lord, I just pray uh, for uh, some healing and grace uh, uh, to be in every way for Deb's mom and their family. Continue to bless them. And Father, we lift up uh, for prayer our, our, our dear friend, uh, uh, Diana, whom we love. And, and Father, uh, I'm thankful for her appointment uh, uh, this past week. Thankful for this doctor who uh, is uh, looking into her situation. And I pray that, uh, Father, just uh, I pray that you would open any door necessary for, for Diana to be healed and restored. And, 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 and uh, again, for her, I pray that, uh, Father, that you would heal her according to your will uh, for your glory. Lord, for Sonny's mother, uh, we pray for her. I pray that she's well. We know that uh, she is uh, uh, 
which he might be advanced in age, but she's certainly a child of God and uh, a great uh, a blessing to all who know her. And I pray that you continue to bless her. And bless Miss Sharon Stewart, Lord. Uh, uh, she deals with uh, some uh, pulled neck muscles and she has other health issues, Lord. And I pray your healing grace would be on Sharon as well. As well for Miss Betty, Betty Bishop, Lord. We're glad to know she's at home. Father, come near to her. And, and uh, uh, Father, even if she can't express herself verbally, Lord, I'm just thankful that she's able to communicate in some way. And bless Rob and Wendy and those that are caring for her. Just, uh, I know that this is a wearying time and a wearying thing. And I pray for, for supernatural strength mm -hmm. and, and that you would strengthen them for this, this journey. For Miss Helen, Lord, lay your healing hands of grace upon her as well. Uh, give the doctors wisdom as they as they work with her, and uh, I, I pray for her pain to be alleviated and the path forward to be found. Pray for Miss Nora Wright in the in the nursing center, Lord. We don't know really uh, how she's doing, but we trust, Lord, uh, uh, that you've got her in the palm of your hand. We thank the Lord for the care that she's getting there, and we just pray for her on a daily basis. Thank you, Lord, for Liberty Baptist and Rouserville and all the folks that have come from all over the country to help them uh, with this building. We're glad to have a part in that, Lord, and I pray that you'd continue to bless them with safety and uh, uh, good work uh, time together. Lord, we know that just builds so many bonds of brothers and sisters in Christ and pray that you'll bless that work and uh, as they are a witness to their community. Bless their pastor, Brother uh, Burdett, and just continue to to guide his steps. And thank you, Lord, for traveling mercy for mm -hmm. Alexa and Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Continue to guide them. And thank you for Robin and all she does here for us here at the church. And Father, we pray for Denise Bittinger's uh, stepfather, Doug, and as he undergoes chemo treatment, we pray that it would be successful. And Father, uh, I pray that if he has any, uh, any sickness from it, Lord, that you would take that from him. And I pray, Lord, that, uh, that he would, uh, this would be effective for him. Uh, for uh, for Stephanie's daughter, Olivia. Father, we, we pray for her. We pray for wisdom. And uh, Father, for, for you to just uh, shine the light of grace and, and uh, discernment upon her. And uh, Lord, uh, just pray that you would guide her steps and that she would seek you. And, and we know that you will always be found by those that are seeking. Mm -hmm. Just guide and protect her, Lord, and keep her uh, in, your, uh, in your safe care. Uh, Father, I uh, do pray for those that are returning to school. And mm -hmm. there's so much turmoil and upset uh, in our country today, Lord. And, and uh, I'm, it's grieving to me. Uh, but Father, I pray that during this whole process that you would keep our eyes on Jesus, mm -hmm. that we would be reminded of our, our hope. And our hope is in Jesus yes. and our hope is in him. And so, Lord, uh, guide us and direct mm -hmm. us. And thank you for times of prayer and fellowship and i pray that you'll return us uh, to your house here on the lord's day that we might worship you yes. in spirit and in truth uh, in jesus precious and holy and wonderful name we pray amen amen, amen. amen. thank you guys so all right well we're going to close our service uh with a with another song from our song sheet <laughs> um all right so I picked the first one. Would you like to pick one? Um, I like, uh, it is well with my song. All right, that's a great song. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna sing two verses. We're gonna sing the first verse and the third verse. Okay. All right. <laughs> when peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot, thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul, it is well. Of 
this glorious thought, my sin not in part, but the whole is nailed to the cross, and I bear it no more. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, O oh my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you, Dave, Stephanie, Deb, and all the seven people that are joining us on Facebook Live right now. There may be more later. God bless you. It's quality, not quantity. That's correct. That's That's correct. I've always believed that.